Hey guys, this is Mike Glover with uh, part three of the um, setting up a base calibration series. Um, we're going to focus on the uh, fuel and spark tables uh, to complete uh, your setting up of your most minimal uh, changes uh, for a base setup before you start data logging and, and tweaking and, and getting into some of the other parameters. So um, let's get going. As for naturally aspirated setup, um, just to get things in the ballpark, you know, if your injectors and MAF and engine displacement uh, settings are, you know, set to what they should be and match your parts, then uh, um, you'll want to come in here and on the uh, cold startup and the stabilized fill table, uh, top two rows. Um, and last four columns, you can set range to like 12 and a half, all under 12, six, and we'll round down. And that should, um, you know, at least get you in a safe ballpark. Doing the same on the uh, stabilized. And this is basically the wide open throttle range on the load uh, scaling. And also 12.5. And from there, you should be able to, you know, tweak the MAF and injectors uh, to get your fueling where uh, it should match on the uh, wideband. Now, the only difference between national aspirated and um, the uh, a power adder application is you need to rescale the y-axis. Over here, and on the coal star, it's FN072A. So you can come down here, FN072A, FN072A, go to, and then just change this 5 to a 6, and this to 1.05, and this to 0.85, and go back, and we've created this row, which is basically, you know, once you're getting into boost, We'll change this to 11 and a half, you know, for mild, you know, eight to 12 pounds of boost. <clears throat> that should cover pretty, pretty well uh, with nominal compression, say eight and a half to nine and a half. And what happens is, you know, up to high load, you know, passing on the freeway or the before you get into boost, it'll target, you know, like naturally aspirated, you know, 12 and a half. And then it blends from this uh, uh, 0.85 row to uh, 1.05 row. It'll gradually uh, or interpolate the values down to this 11 and a half range. And uh, anywhere above 105% load, it'll, it'll still target that. You can rescale this more if you like, but then you have to remap this entire table. It's just not necessary. Uh, and you come down here and change the Y scaling on this table, which is the B version. And we'll do the same here, 6, 8502, and 1.05. And then top row. Oops. Eleven to five, and you should be in a safe range there. All right, for the spark tables, we're going to focus on the um, base and uh, borderline, and we're just going to take the altitude spark table of the equation completely by setting it to uh, fifty-five for the entire table, and then. Of the base table, and we will adjust for you know average nominal compression, you know head cam intake and 91 octane. Uh, we will set these to say 27, and And you 
want to take this and copy it and then paste it to here. And for that last part of setup, that's about all you're going to want to do for your, your baseline file. You know, you're just starting out with your tuning process, and it should get you in, in a good, you know, ballpark uh, so you can start tweaking uh, the fuel and, and uh, spark advance. Now, if we're going to, um, for a, a power out application, we're going to need to go modify this FN012. Scaling and you have to move this first column and then make this 0.5 and 1.05, just like we did on the fuel tables. And we have the scaling about the same, <clears throat> excuse me, as it was, and then we'll take. Um, this range and uh, and so anything above a hundred percent load basically will be you know in your boosted range and limited here to twenty one degrees. And then 27 degrees all the way up to, you know, 85% load, and then it'll interpolate down from there fairly quickly uh, as you start getting into a positive pressure. Um, there is also a um, MBT table, which is closed loop uh, zero EGR flow. And um, this is kind of an advanced. It, um, you can get a lot of detonation uh, during this, and, and really, I, I would leave it until much later in your tuning process. Um, uh, my wife's uh, 5.4, uh, 10 and a half to one compression. I had to remove uh, some uh, spark down low because she was getting a little bit of detonation, and, and it was getting the motor hot uh, heat soaked uh, pretty quickly, but I was able to add some a little bit in mid-range and up and uh, made a, a marked uh, difference in the uh, part throttle uh, performance uh, overall. So uh, this is one that you can adjust, but I, I would wait until uh, after you've gotten uh, your tune pretty stable. Anyway, that closes this uh, series out, and um, next series I'm going to start and try and get out much quicker than this one is um, for um, uh, where to go from here, you know, basically the, the data logging process of uh, what to look for and, and um, uh, how, how, how to diagnose issues, really, uh, that, that can affect your tuning process. Anyway. I uh, hope this helped, and I will see you guys out on the group.